Hi campers, it's Miss Yaz from Camp Quarantine and I am back, okay? I haven't been around um, for a little bit because uh, I've been busy teaching online, but I really, really wanted uh, to bring back YouTube and to share some of my learnings. Now, um, a apart from teaching online, I've been doing some special work um, and I've been working um, with the Philippine Embassy in Canberra and um, also the Philippine Tourism in Australia and New Zealand. Now, doing this work, I realized a few things. One, I teach loads of art, about loads of artists from around the world. And I realized, oh my gosh, I don't share any artists from my background, which is the Philippines. Now, I was born in Australia, but my parents are from the Philippines. Now, for um, the campers around the world, I am here in Australia, in Melbourne, okay? And the Philippines is ooh, over here. It's a group of 7,000 islands in Asia. So over here, there's China. I'm so lucky that I've got campers in America and UK and France and New Zealand, um, the Philippines, um, where else is it? The UAE. So I'm really lucky to have campers all over, but I am from here. And my parents are from here. Now, the artist that we're going to um, learn about today is from my parents' home country, which is the Philippines, my roots, okay? Now, aside from realizing I don't teach about Filipino artists, so I'm going to change that by every Friday I will be doing Filipino Fridays, where every Friday I will share with you a creative that I found that I want you to learn about. I'll still do to artists from other countries, maybe once... Um, in another time of the week, but on Fridays, it's going to be especially for me learning about my roots because it's really important to celebrate who you are. Now, the second thing I realized was, oh my goodness, I love art from all around the world. And what I realized that during this, uh, doing all my learning is that all the things that I love actually exist within my roots. So the styles that I like, the things that I like looking at, now, one of the things that I love to look at are people's faces. So if you go around my house, there's lots of portraits of people. And I love when people paint or draw everyday scenes. Now, we haven't always had iPhones, okay, to take photos of everything. So back in the day before iPhones, people used to paint or draw to try and remember that time in life. Now, I've got two favorite artists that I love both from about 50 to 60 years ago. And there I've actually got their artwork in my home. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've just found a Filipino artist that does all of the things that I love. So I really want to share. This artwork is the one that I want to look at. It's by a famous Filipino artist called Fernando Amorsolo. Okay. Or Amorsolo. Okay. Um, he was named the um, first national artist by President Marcos in 1972. Um, he was trained by the Spanish um, to do realistic looking painting. So realistic means it looks real. Okay. Um, he had this special technique that he did called backlighting. So that means exactly that. The light is in the back. Can you see that it's really bright on the outside here? And that's supposed to symbolize the Philippine sun. And it makes his paintings kind of look like, sorry about the reflection, guys, that it's glowing, okay? I love that. Now, he loved to paint people. Tick, that's what I like. Um, he loved to paint the everyday and even the way people dressed. Now, there are a few things that I love about this. The colors, the face, she's so beautiful. This painting is called The Fruit Gatherer by Fernando Amosolo, okay? And I love how she's picking fruits. So that's what she's doing. And I especially love her clothes, the terno here. Look at how beautiful. So this um, top or this outfit, or I guess this top especially that I identify with is uh, traditional Filipino clothing. And I just, I just love it. Okay. Now what's interesting is check out this. These are the artists that I love that I didn't know, uh, that I knew about before I met um, Amos Solo's work. This is Trechkov from Russia. This is Gorgon. He's from France, but he spent some time in Tahiti and uh, painted Polynesian women doing their everyday things. And then I met Fernando Amosolo. 
and he did exactly that landscapes people and every day okay so i've got some homework for you or an activity for you for this activity you don't need much you just need a pen or even an iphone or a camera and i want you to observe now observe means to look with your eyes about your everyday. Now, Trechkov, um, Gauguin, and Filipino artist Fernando Amosolo all painted things from what they could see. Now, it is year 2020. It's about 50, 60, or 70 years since these drawings were made. I would love to know, campers, what would you draw for year 2020? Now, let me just open up my app here and uh, let's get drawing now you can do um black and white you can do colored it doesn't matter okay so here's my ipad it's really funny because all the shops are closed guys so i've got to just use what i've got because i can't get printer ink which is probably good for the environment actually so year 2020 what can you see Okay, what can you see year 2020? It's really funny. We've been in lockdown now for two months. And when I think of lockdown, isn't this funny? One of the first things I think of in the morning, maybe the parents can guess. What have I drawn here? <laughs> it is a, a coffee. That's so funny. Lockdown 2020 is a coffee. This is a bit one of the things that I notice, and I've got to do it for my job and just for lots of things, buying things online or communicating with family and friends. I'm going to draw an iPad or an iPhone. But one of the things that I've really loved since lockdown is going for a bike ride and picking flowers with Stevie and Marley. We did not do that enough before lockdown. So I have really loved going on our little walks or bike rides and picking flowers. Okay, it's kind of slower. I would love to hear or see three things that you have observed or noticed since lockdown in the year 2020. You can color it in, you can keep it black and white, but I would love to see. And this is all whoop, inspired by our new found artist, Fernando Amorsolo from the Philippines. And I think, guys, oh, here we go. He was from Manila. So the this part of the Philippines. My parents are from Cebu. 7,000 islands, pretty cool, right? So let's be inspired by Amor Solo's work, but make it the 2020 version. All right, can't wait to see what you make. Bye, campers.